<laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. This YouTube video is a little bit different because we have some strong individuals in the building today. We have Jamal Browner, one of, if not the best sumo pooler deadlifter in general in the whole fucking world. Um, today we're going to be witnessing him pull a shit ton of weight and then after that he's going to take me through it. Man, it's so quiet. Everyone's just like watching me and shit. <laughs> Damn, it got so serious. It got so <laughs> no, you guys are good. Um, so he's literally sitting here watching me talk. Oh, yeah. Super awkward. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean Jamal. I've, how long have we known each other? Since 2016. 2016. Yeah, and uh, we talked on and off like through social media. And I remember whenever we, we first started, I was like, this guy's gonna be strong as shit. <laughs> like you, you had that football background, so I was like, bro, you're gonna take off for sure. And. Uh, I remember we used to have those talks about, you know, what can he do on social media in order to to get bigger and like kind of like get to where he's at now. And it's just cool to see like that progress and that thing happen. And just number one, I think just watching your journey, you, you stay true to yourself and just kept training and stronger and shit. So uh, a strong ass shit. So we're gonna go ahead and just kick it off, man. Um, he's from Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, we're just gonna get busy. He's gonna pull some sh Sounds a little stupid. And I'm gonna be off in the corner doing my own thing. <laughs> we also have Austin Perkins in the building. He was somewhere here when he disappeared, but maybe we can grab him after we finish up our daily session. So, uh, you wanna run that shit to open up the video? Is that how we're doing it? Okay, yo, do harm. Bag big from laying these ad libs. My photo, the Jordan logo for this rap shit. Oculus VR, that's how I see shit. I can't let you drive the boat if you get seasick. Draped in all red, she thought I was woopy. 4 a.m. still going, I'm not even woozy. Let your friends catch a ride, whip only got two seats. Slip and slide through Miami, she got on a two piece. I'm on her body, she a homebody. Hope them killers don't catch nobody. Every time I pop out, it pop off. Pop off. Why KTV got the top off? Top off. Private estate, I'm a mob boss. Pop boss. Every time I pop out, it pop off. Don't let your side bitches settle in. Might have to headbutt your Evelyn. Ballers, I put numbers on the boards. Hard to get a handle on this <laughs> I keep forgetting, I always have my girl when it's time to talk, but um, as you guys saw, I mean, shit, Jamal pulled. Hey, Jamal, what'd you pull? Not <laughs> Jamal goes, 905. He pulled 905 pounds. I'm sure you guys saw how that looked. Um, so two things, uh, I don't want to harp on this part too long, uh, just because like we have an important part on Saturday where he's gonna teach me how to sumo pull, but um, he's literally one of, if not, the best deadlifter, like period, pound for pound. So um, just being able to take keys from him and just actually seeing him perform in person. I've seen him a couple times, but just like to see him in here like crushing weight is ridiculous. And then you also have Austin Perkins, which is one of the strongest lifters in the world as well. Uh, he's in the 74 weight class, or 74 kg weight class, and he's just absolutely killing it. So we dubbed it together. And what I'm trying to point out is that whenever you're lifting with people that have a high standard for themselves and just compete at a high standard, it makes you push yourself that much more. Um, for example, like I was supposed to hit maybe probably like 683, 705, and I would have kept it right there. But Jamal told me, he's like, bro, like at this point, you've proven you can pull 750. Why are you still messing around with 683 as like your single? Like that shouldn't be your baseline anymore. You should go from 639 to 705 because you've proven yourself repeatedly. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take you up on that. So I pulled the 705, move easy. And then he's like, okay, so now that 705 is your new baseline, then you can decide where you want to go for, for the single. And obviously that's not gonna happen every single time I'm inside of the gym, but it's like, I'm a new I'm a new person now, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little bit stronger, so I have to have faith in that. And um, I didn't realize that. So I was able to unlock that little mental barrier and understand that, okay, like, I'm stronger, bro. I got more than that. So I ended up pulling 725 or 727 pounds for today's single at an RP of like, like seven to eight. And like, it was like legit. So that was really cool. But um, like I said, that's is not really the important part of the video. The important part comes Saturday. So that's what I'm going to see you guys next, where I have Jamal Brown, one of the greatest deadlifters in the world, teaching me how to shoot a pool. So, see you guys Saturday. My dog bought a plane, said, let's go to Paris. That's where baguettes are from, French bread that's long and narrow. I like the other definition, rectangular carrots. 
The concept of this song is rather esoteric This girl said in Grenada we should go get married Broke the meaning down of the Virgin Mary And you got your own place My favorite part of the night when you text me that you made it home safe I'm contemplating at the home base How I'm used to breakfast in the ghetto sipping OJ That's a picture right there, a moment in time Before anybody wanted a photo of mine Before the internet Okay, what's up guys? Welcome to Corrupted Saturday uh, We are about to get it in um, So, like I said early on in the video Jamal's gonna teach me how to sumo uh, to give him some tips and cues. Uh, once again, Jamal's one of the best elephants in the world, so to get some advice from him is gonna be amazing. Um, but first, we got squats. And we are, what is it, like eight weeks out, I think, coming up. And uh, it's time to get serious, man. I mean, we're locked in diet-wise. We got some new information from the IPF and USAPL that pretty much, like, it's good to go. Um, so I'll be booking flights hopefully the next week or so and we're going to be committing to this prep. So uh, we have a 4x4 on squat today. We have, I'm squatting with Austin, uh, Fortino, and then um, uh, Jamal's going to jump in later to uh, give me some sumo tips. to the main part of the video, which is sumo deadlifting. Um, we are literally deadlifting. Uh, we have a treat, actually. We're literally deadlifting with the top deadlifter in my weight class, An Angelo Fortino. And we also have Jamal Browner here. So uh, uh, Angelo is gonna do volume, and I'm practicing my sumo. So I'm gonna be getting advice from number one, Jamal, and then obviously Angelo as well. So they're gonna be watching my sets and critiquing my technique. So let's get torn apart. So instead of like get digging too deep in, just like get so don't don't reach for the bar. Don't reach for it. Okay, just get my hips closer. Okay. Right. So one of the things, so Jamal, you were telling me like, I so on my what, what warm up set was that the two plate warm up set? Three. Three. I was reaching too much for the bar, like. So the way you explained it was that I want to get my hips closer to the bar instead of like trying to like actually reach for the bar. So what I was doing is I was set up. I'm set right here, but then like I'll go down here and I'm throwing myself in position. I'm throwing myself out of position, whereas I should get right here and then just keep sinking my hips until I get to the bar right here and then I'm already positioned. All I have to do is get tight. Before. Um, but it's like little things like that, technique wise, goes a long way <laughs> for sumo. I can't just like yank that shit because this isn't conventional. So uh, let's try to execute that form with 500 pounds even. <laughs> The upper body is just maintaining the weight, keep your core tight, the brace. I think the biggest thing for me is like once, I mean like, like I said earlier, it was just like getting my hips lower versus like reaching for the bar. I think that's like the biggest thing because like when I watched that set that I just did, my hips didn't rise 
at all. I think like two weeks ago, it was rising a little bit here and there, and like I would have to find my position within my second and third set. So being able to get my positioning on that first initial rep has worked um, just with that cue that you gave me right now. I tried, I tried doing it a little bit here and there, but like it makes, it just makes it so inconsistent because sometimes I'll be in good position and then like, sometimes I won't be. Like you can do a, a mini hip shoot, like yeah. you, you don't even have to be here. Well, what's happened with me, I really over exaggerated at first. Yeah. I used to kind of like jump out with it, um, but now since we kind of kept it like this and really try to get a position, actually that point there is pulling the slack out. Yeah. And then kind of get that chest up, okay. it helps. You're right in the sense that when you over exaggerated, that was fucking me up a lot. Yeah. I was pitching the bar forward, I was lifting over myself, uh -huh. and even that little thing was made you know, over 700 that much easier. It basically helps you kind of wedge the bar a little bit better. Yeah, you the wedge the more to start, and it gives you more tension on the bar as well. You get a better leg drive, better hip too, and, but, and you stay long up the bike. Okay. Yeah, I can show you the videos of like, my, it being like night and day different uh -huh. with like the same weight for me. So what I was doing was, I was like, almost like a robot. It's like, okay, step one, hip shoot, step two reset, get tight in the pool. What they're saying is like, hip shoot pool, <laughs> basically. Well, this is what you do. You set yourself up, okay. then you pull. Gotcha. But you wanna, you wanna be fluid. Yeah. You just don't wanna stop. Once you stop, you stop all momentum. Man. Okay. Can we just talk about how he just like yeah, no, don't warm, do that. Yeah, like don't, don't do that again. Bro. Like he just like talks you with like 550. Oh sorry. Yeah, you didn't have to do that shit. That was disrespectful. <laughs> I didn't like that. Delete that shit. Edit it. <laughs> Try to focus on making it one motion. Um, 
It's not like what he said. Just uh, get in position and slight little hip hinge, but as soon as you get the hip hinge, you're initiating the pull, so let's see how it goes. approval I see what you mean now it's like it's not a good cue but it worked for me it's like roll into it <laughs> you want to sit down but stand up yeah, yeah. at the same time yeah it's a weird okay so like as a lifter you're gonna have weird things that work for you um but the way that I envisioned it for myself was like almost like a roll so it's almost like I'm in position and then it's like I'm rolling myself up. It's not the best cue, but it worked for me in that way. <laughs> Actually, and that's why I don't like saying certain things that run through my mind because it works for me. When I say it out loud, you're probably gonna be listening and be like, what the fuck? Like, no, it doesn't work, but it works for me, so. Yeah, I don't know how to make it make sense, like verbally for people to like take it and apply for themselves. I just know what works for me. Yeah, so it's like, it helps maintain hip position. So when you're, when you're trying to sit down, you're, you're trying to do like this, but when you're trying to stand up, it's like this. So your hips go in that motion. Yeah. When it, in reality, most people just stay hips to the bar, and you end up going forward, yeah. and you stand your hips like that. So it push you out of position, and you take your quads out of it, yeah. and it turns into a stiff like this. Yeah, yeah. So when you think sit down, stand up, you keep driving. Yeah. So, I try to simplify everything. Yeah. Did it look good on video? That look like a sumo pulley? Do I look up on the dark side now? <laughs> Alright, so uh, we finished up with sumo pulls. I honestly feel like that's the best um, technique-wise that I felt. It felt very natural um, on a scale of 1 to 10. Like. Um, it's like an 8. It still needs room for improvement. Yeah. Um, it's just subtle changes to the technique that like, well, choose his approach uh -huh. that he needs to do. But overall, great technique. He has great leverage for sumo. Mm -hmm. um, it's just going to take some time to learn. So. Yeah. It's cool to like be able to talk to people that, number one, sumo pool. I mean, like, obviously. But, uh, I mean, he's literally like one of the best, if not the best, sumo pooler in the world. So to be able to get technique and advice from him as to what I could do to, number one, even start sumo, and then number, one, two, uh, number two, be actually good at sumo is pivotal. Um, so just pick, picking up bits and pieces from people that are great at what they do is always beneficial. Um, so like, shit, what was it, like yesterday or two days ago, you hit 900? Yeah, 900. Yeah, yeah 900. Uh, <laughs> and we went back and looked and your belt wasn't even clipped on. That's like, crazy. <laughs> so like you hit that without, I mean, would you count that as beltless? Damn near? I mean, I still have some type of compression. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not much, you know what I mean? It was so, hard. It was harder than I had. Let me say that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what meet are you preparing for? Uh, the showdown meet. I'm thinking uh, seven weeks out okay. from today, actually. Okay. Yeah. So you got the showdown. I have allegedly IPF Worlds. What are you planning to like? Cool hit. Um, if my thumbs hold up, I believe I can do a thousand pounds. Um, that's the goal. If I do that, I might retire from powerlifting for like three years. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, tell the people. Okay, so recently, was it like two weeks ago or three weeks ago? Or four, I don't know how long ago it was, but you hit like 990. Like you had it. So it was uh, about four weeks ago. I hit tried 990 in training. We were doing a test week. Mm -hmm. um, I tried 990 after doing 925. 925 flew. So I'm like, I, I got to put this on the bar. Yeah. Um, so I tried 990. I knew I missed it on a technicality. So I ended up just throwing like 10 more pounds on and doing a thousand and I missed it on the same technicality, but it is what it is. And plus in like in training, I was deep in volume. You know what deep in volume is, like yeah. you feel like shit. Yeah. So I, I was feeling like shit going into that session and to be able to do that weight while feeling like shit, it's yeah. ideal. So now um, another couple weeks of training, fucking taper, uh, peak. You know, I think we do that. Yeah, and it's crazy because I need you guys to follow him on Instagram because like, you're okay. So we watch him hit like all these reds and kilos like on the Instagram, and then when he he's in here in person, literally everyone in the gym is just watching him. We're like, what what was that? Like, how much weight is it? We know it's a lot, but we just don't compute it because there's no one around here that hits that amount of weight. Um, so we're always watching your Instagram and it's just like, fuck, this guy's casually pulling 800 pounds. I mean, even for his back down, since you did like 815 for sets of four or yeah, something? Yeah, 815, or? then I did 750. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just, uh, 
it's disrespectful, but like, it's also motivational at the same time. So uh, like I said, follow my Instagram. His YouTube page is, is really, really good as well. The strongest shit, and it's someone that I like, like to watch because it's like, you never want to watch people that are kind of on your level. You want to watch people that are above you. Like it's gonna help you push yourself harder inside of the gym. It's like, I can't come in here and bullshit a 600 pound lift if Jamal's over there pulling damn near a thousand. You know what I mean? So just being able to like, watch him progress and try to keep up with that is, is super beneficial to my training. So, uh, yeah, anything you want to plug before we uh, dip out? Not really. Yeah, we shot, we shot guns yesterday. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. He taught me how to, how to like, shoot a gun. So, it's so like, wait, 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 he, he taught me how to shoot, load, and like, deload or whatever. I don't know. So, that was pretty cool. But anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. Like always, if you guys like today's video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do better today. I'm out. Pop out and pop off, pop off. YKTV got the top off, top off. Private estate, I'm a mob boss. Every time I pop out, it pop off. YK